Goods and services are getting more and more expensive, up 7.9% from a year ago, costing the average household an extra $300 a month, according to an analysis from Moody's. This is very likely going to continue even increasing on the short term. Economists say supply chain issues brought on by COVID continue. Every step, though, impacted by the rise in oil prices and the uncertainty of war. Because everything is so volatile now and you can't really uh, tell where everything is heading because, it's, as you can see, any news at any time, any day uh, changes the whole setting. Food up nearly 9 percent. The cost of eating out or takeout up nearly 7 percent. That's the biggest one-year jump in food in over 40 years. Even clothes cost over 6 percent more. Many consumers feeling overwhelmed. Like a tidal wave that we see coming at us, the inflation and the price increases and the gas prices, the grocery prices, or the unavailability of so many things. Most everything's going up these days, including the price of my coffee, which just rose a quarter from $3, but they have to pass the costs along. Experts say settling the conflict in Ukraine is key, but they doubt that prices will go back to what they were. Long term, I think uh, we will see uh, kind of playing out an equilibrium, but everything at higher price levels. He recommends keeping track of costs, scaling back expenses. And he says that when the value of money declines, the best investment we can make is in ourselves, in our education, in our skills, and in our flexibility. In Portsmouth, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.